the boss of Tesco has been accused of living in a parallel universe after he claimed some food companies might be using inflation as an excuse to hike prices further than necessary. Farming chiefs say they're baffled by the Tesco chairman's comments. Well, official figures show food prices have risen almost 17% in the past year. So in the battle of costs between supermarkets and suppliers, are the public paying the price? We're joined now by the boss of another big supermarket chain, the executive chairman of Iceland Foods, Richard Walker. Very good morning to you. Do you have sympathy with the boss of Tesco, who says that some suppliers are taking advantage, that the prices do not need to be going up in some cases as much as they are? Yeah, I think the key word is some. So, I mean, certainly with regards to the farmers, you know, they're struggling and, and we're having a very close dialogue with them. There's mm. certainly no profiteering there and maybe that's where the message got mixed. Um, but, yeah, we struggle to justify some of the uh, price increases that are being levied at us by some of the big branded suppliers. I think that's fair to it's say. It's the big brands that he was yeah. um, aiming oh, his guns I at. I presume so, he? yeah. Yeah, no, um, if you listen to the programme yeah. on um, on Sunday, that definitely seemed to be the case. So what do you do in that situation? Do you say, well, we're not going to supply those brands? Well, we're a big business, but we're a small business in the context of, of the UK uh, food in industry, about two and a half market uh, percent share. So, you know, we, we can't kind of throw our weight around in the same way as Tesco, but um, we try and have robust conversations. We have a team that, that looks into these cost price increases. Uh, we try and push them back where we can. Uh, but ultimately, that's why we're seeing the prices of some food products go up at shelf. But Do you think that the brands themselves, suppliers themselves, should take the hit and not pass it on to the supermarkets who have to take, pass it on to the customer? Or do you think that as a supermarket, like Tesco, for instance, perhaps Iceland, although you're smaller, should step in and take the hit and not pass that on to the I mean, we buyer. are doing, and certainly our, our profits will be significantly down, um, and I think everyone has a part to play, you know, and it can't be a one-way street. Mm. Uh, and that's why suppliers need to take some of the hit, the big branded suppliers, um, uh, supermarkets, but also we are seeing the burden fall on customers as well. This has been a big debate in America um, with the accusation that big, powerful, large companies are doing this. I think one of the um, products which has been highlighted was um, an American product, Heinz, which um, was, I think Tesco stopped, or, or I think it was Tesco stopped supplying it mm. for a period of time. Is there a difference between what's happening in America and in Britain? Is our supermarket, food, farmer, supply chain market more competitive? Yeah, I think it's fair to say our, um, our supermarkets are, are really competitive um, and we, we operate on very low margins. So there isn't really a lot of room for manoeuvre. And if your prices are higher than the competitions, shoppers will simply shop elsewhere. Now, we've heard, uh, and I think you'll confirm, that you want to move from business into politics. You're a very effective communicator. Uh, and you believe that you can bring those skills to becoming an MP for the Conservative Party. Um, are you prepared for everything that comes with that? I mean, we, if you look at the state of Conservative politics at the moment, for instance, the chairman of the party, Nadeem Zahawi, under enormous scrutiny mm. because of his tax affairs, huge distraction from the work of the Prime Minister, who needs to, frankly, get a grip of what's happening in the country... Would you be able to open up all your business to scrutiny? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're quite a straightforward business. We're, we're in the UK, started by mum and dad 52 years ago. We pay our tax. We're, we're pretty straightforward. But you're right, with public life, um, as I'm sure Ed knows, a, a lot of scrutiny comes with it. Um, and it's a lot to handle, a lot to deal with. I think about it a lot. It's, um, it's not just me, it's my family, it's everyone around me. Um, but I don't think that people who really want to do this, who want to serve, who want to give something back, should be dissuaded. I think, you know, our democracy, our politics is, is worse off if good people are, are dissuaded from what doing would happen it. to iceland uh we have amazing people who are much better than me at, at running it so iceland will, will be just fine but have you had a conversation with your family about the pressure that comes with being uh, a politician which is different from the pressure that comes with being a business person 
Yeah, of course, you know, we've talked about it in detail um, and I have a responsibility on them as well. Um, I think it's heightened now in the age of social media. Yes. Um, we have a, you know, a very binary debate, which sometimes can be way too uh, uh, tribal. Um, but uh, it, it's an itch that I've got to scratch. It's something I really want to do. And I think running the business I do, you know, we, we're a barometer of Britain and we see and feel and hear a lot of the issues around the country. And, I, and I you'll have to find a help. constituency, get the voters to vote for you. Where are you looking? That's right. Um, give all it, over the give, place. <laughs> give, it, give us a little insight. Where are you looking? Uh, all over the place. Where were you born? Uh, well, I was born in Chester, Ooh, from the North West. Chester. Yeah, they just had a by-election. Um, Labour seat. But, uh, yeah, indeed. Um, and That's no good. We'll, 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 see. we'll see. Where did you grow up? Uh, Cheshire, Shropshire. Cheshire, Shropshire. Uh, kind of area. Getting better. Yeah. Where do you live now? Uh, Cheshire. Ooh. Yeah. The yeah. North West. North West. God. You're, you're creating in. a lot of ooze amongst, <laughs> amongst the panel here. Uh, Richard Walker, thank you very much. We indeed. need good people in politics, so good luck with it. Thank you.